Hi everyone, I'm Fabio for Higher Hertz. Today I'm gonna introduce you the brand new iRig HDX by IK Multimedia. This is a brand new audio interface for guitar and bass, and it's basically the evolution of the iRig HD2. This X version has three more additional features. One is the built-in tuner, which I'll show you in a moment. The second is the ability to use a zero latency monitor while you're playing, really great for recording. And the third is that now you have the ability to use the loopback, so you can stream with really tiny audio interface and use a great uh, plugin, for example, ToneX and IK Multimedia Amplitude, which are included with the purchase of the HiRig uh, HDX to stream. So basically, while you're playing, you can stream to the application that you use usually for streaming and you can listen the sound processed directly to the streaming platform. So let me introduce all the features and then I'll show you how this unit sounds. So I want to show you all in real time. So let me connect everything. I'll show you with my iPad uh, all the main three features because here you have basically four different LEDs, as you can see, so four different programs. So I'll show you with the iPad the main three program and the loopback I'll show you with my MacBook because I want to show you the loopback uh, with a streaming platform basically and I don't have a streaming software here on iPad but only on my Mac. This unit can be used with iPhone, iMac, so desktop and iPad, but it can also be used with Android. And in fact, it has been provided two different cables. One cable is USB-C to Lightning, which is useful to connect your iPhone and your iPad. But since uh, in the near future, Apple will release new iPhone with USB-C connection, it's also provided USB-C to USB-C cable. This for the new iPhone, but also to connect your iMac because USB-C is basically the same of Thunderbolt connection and also to connect your Android phone. So let me connect everything. Let me use the uh, Lightning cable so I can connect directly the iRig HDX to my iPad, USB-C to the iRig HDX and Lightning on this way to my iPad. And as you can see, it's turning on. So here, as you can see, you have four different LEDs that will light up in blue. And it's telling you the program that you can use. So you can switch between the program with single knob because basically you have only one knob here of your audio interface. So it's really, really handy. Only one knob, the same knob is a rotary knob. So let me introduce only the connection before going further. You have, of course, here the connection of your instruments. It's a high impedance connection for your DI, for the guitar or bass. And here you have the main output of your amplifier. So you can go with this output directly to an amplifier. You can go directly to a PA system if you use, for example, a Tonex, so a processed sound, and you can go directly to a real amplifier. But if you want, you can also use a real amplifier with DI, for example, because you want to reamp, for example. So you can decide to send to this output all your process sound from the application that you're using or your DI directly to use a guitar amplifier, for example. And I'll show you in a moment how to do that. Then you have here, of course, the USB. Also, this one is an um, output, we can say, because you will use the USB to send, for example, a signal to the application. And here, the headphones output. Let me say this headphones output is only 3.5 millimeters, so only the really tiny jack connection. I prefer to have the 6.3 millimeter connection because when you use normally high quality headphones, maybe you don't have the adapter for the 3.5 and it's better to have a 6.3 millimeter, but it's my opinion. So let me show you how to use this. Let me connect my guitar so I can show you also the sound. Here I can connect the output, for example, to go to an amplifier and this will be the output to let you listen, of course, what I'm recording. And then I have to connect my guitar. 
So let me grab the other jack and here is my guitar. Okay, now of course you have to go into the application that you want to use, go to settings and here from the iPad perspective, I can see my input device is the digital audio. Basically the iPad will recognize only in this way, but on the Mac, I'll show you that will be recognized as iRig HD Hex. Here you can see the sample rate, which is 44.1, but you can also record up to 96 kilohertz, 24 bit if you want. So great quality from this really tiny audio interface. Here in the first program, you can manage the output of your headphones. So uh, you can manage the volume with the rotary knob, as you can see it's at maximum, but you can also go down as you want. Let me try. As you can see, as soon as you release the knob, as you can see now, if I play, I can monitor my input of my instrument. There is no any input management here for your instrument. You have to go inside the application. So for example, here on the settings, here you can see the level of the input. Okay, now let me show you the second program. I can go further. This is the process or DI um, program. So you can decide to send to this cable, so to the amplifier, the process sound, so the tonex. Basically, you are listening to the process sound right now because I am recording from this cable, but I can also decide to send only my DI. How to do that? Well, in this program, when you turn the knob, you will see basically only two sides. This is the left side or the right side. And this is my DI. So I can decide what to send to my amplifier. For example, if I send my DI, I can go directly to a real guitar amplifier and reamp my signal. And maybe with the output of my headphones, I can mix uh, together these two sounds. So I can send maybe the headphones directly to another PA system and mix with a mixer. So this is also really interesting. Let me again place the tongs. Let's go now to the third program. And this is the program for the uh, zero latency monitor. You can decide to use the zero latency monitor or not. Pay attention that if you want to use the zero latency monitor, we'll be forced to send the DI signal also to the amplifier, even if you don't want. But if you want to use the zero latency monitor, will be sent also to the amplifier a zero latency monitor signal, which will be your DI signal. Let me show you. Now, for example, all the way to the right, the zero latency monitor is bypassed. So you will listen, of course, the application, okay? And this will be also sent to your headphones. If you force to use the zero latency monitor to the right, also in the amplifier, you will listen to the DI. So you cannot use both the amplifier, so the, sorry, the application and uh, the amplifier in zero latency monitor. As you can see, when I go back, I still listen to the amplifier. So I have to go again back here and I have to switch again to the tone X. Because it has been forced to use the uh, DI also to the amplifier. So you have to go back. Again here, let's use the tone X. 
Now, I want to show you how to use this with the loop pad because it's really interesting to use this uh, for streaming. So let me connect now the iRig to my MacBook and I want to do all in real time. So let me disconnect here. Now my iPad is no more needed, but I need to use the USB-C to USB-C cable because of course I don't have a lightning connection on my Mac. So let me connect this one here on the iRig and here on my Mac. It's connected. <laughs> okay, now let me open my Tone X. Okay, here you have to place the iRig and as you can see, input device is recognized as iRig HDX. As you can see, the input is only the input one because now we are in the, let me switch, loopback mode uh, disengaged. So as you can see with only one green LED is disengaged. You can see only one input. I'll show you that with the loopback engaged, you have other two additional inputs. iRig HDX has my output. So now I'm playing, but I wanna show you that if I use my uh, streaming application, so for example, my streaming application is called Ecamm Live. Okay, I'm not connecting any webcam, any camera, so you can see basically my desktop, but I don't want to stream because it's useless to stream right now, but I'll record so you will listen what would be recorded as sound. So let me show you here. Let's go to record. Let's say I'm streaming. Let's finish here and recording. Now let's see the file that I've recorded. So basically is the video that will be uh, in real time uploaded. As you can listen, I've recorded only DDI. So when you stream, maybe you are listening your tone, but you are sending only DDI because the loopback is not engaged. How to engage the loopback? Well, you have to turn, as always, you have only to turn the knob. And as you can see, with the additional two LEDs, now the loopback is engaged, but not fully engaged. To engage the loopback, you have to reset the iRig HDX. So you have to turn again back to the first blue LED. So one tweak, as you can listen, the noise, because has been reset. And I have again to say, to the Tonex that I'm using my iRig again, so HDX. Now here, as you can see, we have two additional inputs. To use this um, iRig HDX on the loopback mode, you need to use the input three, not anymore the input two, because the input one and two will be used as loopback. So the output one and two serial will go back as a loopback, and again, input one and two will be used to send the signal of your application that you're using to the streaming uh, platform. So if I go again to my loopback, now is engaged, don't touch the loopback. Now I can place the iRig HDX again, maybe 64 as buffer size. I'm recording with the input three, no more the input one, now I can go back again to my um, Ecamm Live application. Here I can record again. I'm streaming, I'm live. Finish and recording. And let's listen now what have been recorded. Let's listen. Now the loopback is on and I can stream with my uh, application that I want. Really, really easy and really fast to use. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is basically the, the tuner. Now there is the built-in tuner, how to use that? Well, you have only to press and hold the button. Now you have in tuner mode because as you can see, there is no any blue LED. You have engaged the tuner 
And as you can see, the green LED will tell you that you are in tune. The two side LED in green will tell you if you are up or above five cents uh, from the tune. So let me show you, for example, let me tune a bit. Okay, but the other LEDs, as you can see, are lighting up also the other LEDs. Why? Because basically the other LEDs will tell you the note that you are playing. So this LED will be the A, a B, and then you have the C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so if I play a A string, as you can see, it's telling me that it's in tune, of course, and it's an A. If I play a B, it's in tune, and this is a B, because as you can see, is lighting up in red color. It's the only LED that will light up in double color. A for the green and B for the red. E, correct. D, G. Okay, so it's really, really easy to use, really handy, and to go back again, hold the knob. So guys, really great audio interface, really high quality, 96 kilohertz, 24 bit, super easy to use and great features for live streaming. I really suggest this iRig HD Hex. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.